We need this head count for a, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's a legal obligation. We have to give this information to our licensing authorities. But secondly, we need to know not just how many animals we've got, but who we've got. So then we've got this information and we can feed it back to global animal databases called ISIS, which forms the foundation of our conservation breeding programs. The reason um, they are a managed species is that um, in captivity we want to keep the bloodlines as pure as we can um, to prevent inbreeding. So the zoo um, will regularly swap or um, move individual animals around um, to accommodate this. These animals actually uh, in the wild would come from Indonesia, uh, sort of that sort of way over in Asia. Uh, but all of these animals are actually captive born. All but one of them was actually born here. Uh, the only one not born here is the mother of this group. Uh, and she was born in another zoo and was brought in and has since bred very well, as you can see, a large family. Um, and yeah, they're, they're doing really well. threats to otters uh, go across the board. I mean, same for the British species as it is for the foreign ones. It's basically their habitat is being lost as, as humans encroach onto the waterways. There's a lot of water pollution happening these days. And as a result, there's a huge push to try and, and reintroduce otter species back. <laughs> 